Hello, Alton here. So, custom races. That's something we talked about last time. This part of the guide, I'm going to talk about how to spice up your custom races using Formus's race images and movie sets. They're awesome. They look right in the game universe. This one's awesome. I don't like these two, though. They look a bit weird, but this, this, and this. Not this much, but Anyway, there's about five or six races I enjoy. You might enjoy different races. There's actually a few more which you can find on this page, which is library.galsif2.com. So that's where you can go. Go to MISC, go to page two, and you'll start finding some stuff there. Feel free to look around this page. There's a lot of mods for the Galsif2 games. Um, it's not many being updated anymore. I mean, Galsif 2 is over its heyday. Stardock's moved on, but I haven't. So I'm doing these friggin' movies. Anyway, uh, you can download these for free, no problem. Uh, once you download them, you'll find you'll have zip files, which have uh, a folder in them. For example, Firmus Race 7. It's a folder I just extracted from a zip file. Um, and I used that already. So, for example, You'll end up with something like this, which has a GFX folder in there. Now, what you're actually after is this folder. And you need to extract that to your My Games GC2 Twilight Honor folder. Uh, you should already have a GFX folder in there. So just whack that in there. And then you'll have a logo and movies in a portrait folder. Now, I advise you to look up the logo you're supposed to use with this species because it's tricky finding the right one in the game because it doesn't select it for you. That's because there's not a relation between the race's name and a logo. There is such a relation between movies and portraits. So let's talk about that. Let's take a look at portraits here. I've got the steel portrait in here. Oh, if you actually extract the Formus' stuff in here, you'll find you'll have this stuff too. The images which refer to other emotions, for example, the steel happy angry neutral trade. I don't think the game uses that, so I just throw them into a different folder. Because these fucking bastards will actually show up in your <laughs> selection. So unless you want to have a crap load of portraits to scroll through, don't leave them in there. So how about that relation? So how does that work? Well you got steel.png. That's just a portrait. But the game will actually look for movies in the GFX movie folder, which start then with the portraits folder's name, underscore, and then angry, happy, neutral, and small. These three are for diplomatic relations. This is for the United Planet, so I don't consider that one to be too important. Now, if you've extracted that, you'll just need to select the logo of steel or any one of Formus's races, and voila! It shows up in game but you can go a bit further than that and do your own work now a bit easier than that still would be if you owned Galsif 1 uh, Galsif 1 also shipped with movies in the proper format and proper size so if you go to your Galsif 1 folder if you own the game you can actually find the trade fin tr uh, the old trade movies in there too that would be the Dringin the Alterans, three is the Marcians, four is the Victorians, and five would be the Yor. Now you need to rename these files in order for the game to pick them up, because you already have the race images, actually. Uh, the game Galsif 2 shipped with those, uh, as I'll show you. Go to Galsif 2, your folder gal in for Galsif 2. Go to GFX, then go to Race. Now you'll have all the pr normal race portraits here. The game will only show race image files, so that's something it will show you as a portrait file for races. So these are not actually shown. There is a noticeable omission in this though. If you look at these, uh, starting from race image 31, notice how we have... Uh, there we go. 31, 32, 33, 34, 30, uh, 6, so 35 is missing. You'll need to make that one. I'll explain how to do that in a bit. To make these connect with the race images already that already exist, rename them as follows. Zero, zero is neutral. One is angry. 
Two is happy. Okay. Now, the sequence of things is exactly the same. So, trade window 31 is actually raise image 31. Trade 1, what's it called? 1. So, 31, 1. 32, 2. That lines up perfectly. So, just rename that stuff. And it should look something like this. Um, um, there we go. There we go. That's it. That's it. The prop, the way it's properly named. But you can't tell which file it used to be. Um, to make your life just a little bit easier, I recommend downloading the Rad Game, Rad Video Tools. Um, you can download those from www.radgametools.com. All right, all right. Get them there. You can actually play BH key files with that tool. Uh, otherwise, you can't. Now. For the your, you'll actually have to make your own portrait. And the way I solved that problem was to just play one of these, just hit print screen, so you actually have a screen dump in your you know, clipboard, and then just run MS Paint and create your own portrait, just like this, and save it as a PNG, and uh, it, it'll look like something like this. Here, there we go. Put it in your GC, My Games GC2 Twilight Honor GFX Portraits folder and name it Race Image 35. There we go. With that, oh yeah, I also got Shodan, which is also on the library file, but I don't know library side, which, but I don't know where I got it anymore. But it's there. Look through it. Uh, and it works the same. So with that done you'll actually, and, and all the files renamed, you'll actually end up with something looking a bit like this. So, once that re is renamed, you'll be able to create a custom race. Uh, for example, this is the old Torian portrait. Now, if I pick this, it'll actually use the old Torian animation as well. So, no hassle, no file editing, the game will, you know, do it for you. Uh, I've already done that, so I've actually made some races. For example, this is an evil version of the Altarans using the Altaran tech tree, and uh, I did the same for the Yor, which is actually a good robot race that likes to trade. <laughs> yeah, and the Morn Clan is the Korath, but looking like Drenjin, and y you can do so much cool stuff with that. Um, this is actually not one of mine. Vin tribes, the evil, the evil Torians. I end up making a lot more evil races. I don't know why. I suppose it's because I can imagine the good races going evil, but the evil races going good. I don't know. I don't think slave pits look that good, <laughs> regardless how good of alignment you are. So you got these five, which are the classic races. So, oops, I got four asteroids selected. That's right. That's actually a, uh, I might have been, end up in an immense galaxy this way, so I might just go for small. Oh crap! It deselected it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll actually do it again. <sighs> anyway, um, I'll do it again. But we get it, Altan. I don't know, I don't care, I want to show you. Uh, Let's see, um, your Sians, the old Terran hegemony, uh, the Vin tribe, and should have the Morn clan somewhere around here. Already have them. Oh, bugger me. Which one am I missing then? Oh yeah, Air 0 101 even. Right, next. Alright, so there we go. Um... All of these races are completely set up with colors and all that stuff, so let's just hit Xenu Communications, research once, and then get Universal Translator, and let's have a word with them. So, what I did was I renamed those files, I also used some of the music files. Actually, I'm using the your standard your music file for this.
this is the classic music file of the Drenjin in part Galsif 1. Ah, uh, the Arshian Rebellion has the same music as the usual. Oh well. This is the Galsif 1 Alteran music theme as well. Torian theme hasn't changed. So there you go, you got your classic races all ready to be played against or with. Of course they use Twilight of the Honor Tech Trees and all that, but it gives you a bit of breathing room to, you know, create really cool custom races. However, we're going to get to the coolest bit just now. Any animation that loops, I shouldn't have closed that, any animation that actually is a proper loop can actually be created, used, um, used to create a race image. Oh yes. So I've been a bit busy, not even been busy that long with this, but um, for example, I think this guy did the same thing really. He created, just created a custom movie, and we're gonna, I'm gonna show Shodan here. You can find that one on the library. These ones you can't because I made them, and I'm not. I might distribute them, but. You know, it is using Stardux material, so I'm a bit hesitant. Anyway, let me just demonstrate what I'm talking about here. You might already have a sneaking suspicion by the images, because, you know, it's kind of a dead giveaway. Um, I'm not interested in how they talk, I am interested in how they look. So there you go. This is the Starbase Construction Guild, a species really good at trade, not so good at production. And what I basically did, I just recorded one entire loop of every type of starbase I had. You know, every type of starbase that is in the game. So you got your influence for neutral, economic is the good, we're happy to see you portrait. And of course the military starbase would be for we're angry and we don't like you. Um, that's the image they throw at you. And I just made a whole race up around that. And you know, because Starrick makes awesome games, I'm using their logo, which is also in the movie itself. And as you can see, this just rotates. Because this animation actually is a loop, you can record it using Fraps, for example. The demo version will do. Fraps demo will load, I don't know, five minute files? That's enough! This is a 45 minute, 45 minute, 45 second loop. So you can actually just record that. And all you need to do is create a video file Render it, um, create a video file which is 420 by 280. Those are the dimensions for this file. Oh, you just saw it gave a hitch, so that's actually where the loop ends. Next one, this is actually something I downloaded. Again, custom animation. Not that difficult, really. You could do this with just a few bitmaps and just render them over each other, but that's Shodan for you. This is actually the research droid race, really good at research. But of course this is just a captured version of when you complete a project. But I decided some of them ran off and became a sieve. Again, used three animations for do, to do this. Can't show that because you know I'm neutral with these guys, but the if they're angry with you, they'll show you the evil alien robot. If they're happy to see you, they'll show you the we're happy to see you alien research robot. Again, these were loops in the game and I just basically used them, rendered them in a proper format, threw them in the game. Which is kind of awesome. Which is also why you need rad video tools to do this. First you'll need to find a video editing tool which allows you to crop the image, you know, grab the piece you want, then resize it to, again I'll just type this out so you don't so there's no mistake. 420 times 280. That what is what it has to be. It might work with a different size. I haven't tested it yet. This is just a sim one. The game uses. Uh, That's not that difficult to figure out because if you play one of these files and you just basically hit print screen again. Don't we just love that, do we? And you paste that. You can just basically tell like so. See? So 420 by 280. Now create your images. Make sure that they have a loop, meaning that 
the first and last images should be identical. After that, things should look okay. Um, and then just render it with this. Just press pink it, uh, select the file to render any file really and press bin kit and then voila you have a bh key file and all you need to do after that is give it the proper names and throw it into your gfx folder um, for example the uh, I can show you like this starbase animations look like this this looks a bit hey oh well and this and of course you can add any effect you want, it doesn't matter, as long as it's a proper and good loop. The robots have shorter loops, if I can find them. Alien robot, there we go. Angry, happy, right, it's the wrong set, <laughs> it's my experimental set. Alright, yeah, I call them research robots, there we go, robots angry. Rim, recognize this guy? Yep. I can play against them now. So, I don't know, I might actually... deploy this at some point. Again, I just made a portrait by hitting print screen and creating a portrait file through that into this folder and did that for star bases. Also did it for robots. Didn't build a logo. That would require actual drawing skills. And I don't have those. Well, anyway, that's pretty much the end of that. That's covers pretty much customizing races. Um, haven't covered star systems yet. We'll touch up on that next time or something. Might also talk about the video, the editors the game shipped in. Um, happy editing. See you all next time.